Well, this was a highly anticipated event that was canceled at the last minute because of the coronavirus. Now, with most of San Diego County closed to crowds or even small groups of people, the San Diego Latino Film Festival is still finding ways to connect with its fans. News 8's Monique Riego has more from organizers. Organizers of the festival are now using the technology of Netflix to connect with supporters who missed out on the festival but are hopefully getting ready to relaunch it later this year. To describe it in one word, it would definitely be heartbreaking. That's the only way Moises Esparza can describe learning the 27th annual San Diego Latino Film Festival would have to be canceled on the exact day it was set to launch earlier this month. As the exhibition's manager, he was part of a dedicated team of volunteers who spent the past year organizing the highly involved and anticipated event. The reality kind of set in for, for the staff and we felt deflated and we just felt very sorry that we weren't able to screen the wonderful pro projects that were submitted by Latino filmmakers from all over the world. No longer in the eye of the storm, organizers are regrouping and planning ahead for the festival to return later this year. But in the meantime, with most of San Diego County shut down, they're also using technology to continue exposing supporters to the art of filmmaking. And today, that meant throwing their first Netflix party for the Netflix documentary, A Three Minute Hug, directed by Everardo Gonzalez. And so we're trying to think of creative ways of engaging with, uh, with fans of the festival, you know, from the comfort of their own homes. Throwing a party is pretty simple. You download an internet add-on for Chrome, create a link, and share it. People click on it, join, watch, and can even chat. You're able to simultaneously watch the same Netflix content at the same time with friends and family. Esparza believes it's a way to bring human connection back into what can seem like a crazy world right now. This is just kind of a first step of reconnecting. And organizers of the festival are also now holding virtual screenings where you can buy a ticket to watch a movie that you would have gone into a theater to see, but now you can watch at home. And we'll have more information on that at CBS8.com. Monique Riego, News 8. Thanks, Monique. People are getting creative with a lot of virtual experiencing. Uh, hopefully that's a very successful event.